Love is who we are. Love is our origin. Love is our destiny. Nigeria and the rest of Africa lost one of the most comical actors Nigeria has ever produced called Mr. Ibu. Every Nigerian knows this man. Most Africans, I believe, who watch Nigerian movies or Nollywood know about this man. The BBC said, while announcing his death, the man who made Africa laugh. But within the last one year and a half, he had been in poor health. And the last drama of his life was a short video that he produced, a tribute to Paul Okoye of Peace Square fame, another famous Nigerian entertainer, a musician. And Mr. Ibu said in that short clip that is available on YouTube, Paul, who is called Rude Boy, we are not from the same family, but you've shown me incredible love. How can one explain this kind of love? You've been here with me for weeks. And then he said, if you do not make heaven, if we do not get together, eating with the angels in heaven one day, in his humorous way, he said, call me Nama or call me a cow. Now, Paul did everything without going on Instagram or on YouTube. He showed this love. I understand that he actually paid for the medical bill of Mr. Ibu. He did this out of the depths of his heart, the love that he had. You know, brothers and sisters, love is who we are. Love is our origin. Love is our destiny. And in this, in this, in this fourth Sunday of Lent, Jesus is presented to us on the cross as the love of God made visible the concrete manifestation of that love. As we heard in the gospel, Jesus speaking to Nicodemus, just as Moses lifted up the serpent, so also will the Son of Man be lifted up on the cross. And when he is lifted up on the cross, he will draw all men and women to himself. For God loved the world so much that he sent his only son. So this Sunday, I think we have been invited to enter into the mystery of this love. To enter into the depths of the beauty of this love. God loves you. If you were the only person living on earth, Jesus would still have died for you on the cross. That is how much God loves you. And I know that we hear this every time God loves you. The question is, if God loves me, why am I suffering? Why do I sin? Why am I feeling this pain? If God loves me, why is it that I don't realize my dream? Why is it that I am depressed if God loves me? Why is it that I have lost my family members or people that are dear to me if God loves me? The love of God, like von Balthasar said, can only be experienced, seen, and touched 
when we enter into the mystery of the cross. The love of God that is revealed to us on the cross is a love that cannot be defeated by our human sin, our, our human imperfection, our human limitation. It is a love that is unconditional. God loves you, not because you merit it, but rather because God finds in you someone beautiful unto God. God's love brought us into being. God's love sustains each and every one of us, and God's love will take us home. The love that is revealed on the cross, brothers and sisters, is a love that does not condemn, but a love that shows mercy. Like St. Paul says to us in the second reading today, God is rich in mercy. The love that is revealed to us on the cross is a love that creates, a love that saves, a love that heals, a love that liberates, and a love that teaches. is a love that models for us what love is, the color of love, the shape of love. On the cross, Jesus gave his life for us. That is how much God loves each and every one of us. And in the text today in the gospel, Jesus says, the light has come into the world. The love of God has come into the world. But there are men and women who prefer darkness because their deeds are evil. So I invite you to enter into the mystery of this love. I invite you to ask the good Lord to enter into your heart, to liberate you, to free you so that you can embrace this love. There is no sin in your life that this love cannot take away. There is no frustration, no pain, no wound, no brokenness that you have that this love cannot heal. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, that God cannot do for each and every one of us. He is knocking at the door of our hearts. He wants to enter in and make a home with you. Why don't you let him in? Why don't you let go? and allow Jesus and this love to come into you, to mold your heart, to strengthen you, and to make you to be like God wants you to be. And as you feel this love, I invite you to do the same thing that Root Boy did. Show love to others, especially those who are suffering, those who are sick, those who are rejected, those who are abandoned. The love of God for us is unconditional. May your love for everyone be unconditional. And as you do this, may the hand of the Lord be upon you. And may God's love fill your hearts. Amen.